Yo, what up everybody? It's time for 2017-18 Optic Basketball. Uh, half case number 8, eBay style. So let's get to it, shall we? Oh, the boogers are coming back. Excuse me, sorry guys, I just... I'm not feeling uh, the greatest. I feel like dudes get the the flu or whatever a lot harder than women. Or maybe I'm just a little bitch. Uh, you know, Tomas, some people like it. I've gotten a, few, a couple messages, actually, on eBay, anyway, where they're like, you know, they don't really like it. They think, you know, they think it's too late uh, starting it at midnight. You know, some of them are probably on the East Coast. Um, and then... What you call it? Yeah, so you know I can understand. Um, so who knows? We 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 might have to adjust the times, maybe. Maybe start at, at ten o'clock, so it's not that crazy late. You know, on the East Coast though, it's probably good for you. You know, East Coast is what like a three-hour difference or something. So the break will be actually at nine o'clock. What did I do now, Ra Ra? What did I do now? Twelve AM is perfect for me. I, I listen, pers personally I think it's a good time. Um, but you know, the people have a voice. And what's cool about it is, you know, once we start eBay breaks, it's straight eBay breaks. You know what I mean? It's back to back. So there, you know, you'll probably wait a minute or two, you know, while I put the cards away or whatever, before the next break starts. So the only thing that I can see that's a bit of a hassle is predicting when the break is going to actually happen. You know what I mean? Because... The first break is going to happen at midnight, you know what I mean? But I couldn't tell you when the fourth or the fifth break is going to happen, like, as far as time is concerned. Uh, before, that was, you know, the good part of the schedule was every hour, you know, on the hour, we had an eBay break to do. So, if you ask me, hey, what time is this break? I would, like, I would, first of all, I would tell you, hey, read the description of the listing, because the break times are always there. Um... But yeah, it's it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Yeah, see, Jr. See, exactly. Uh, my man probably is not a fan of of the uh, the time change. You know, some of us do like to wake up early. I don't know why I said us, because I'm one of those bums that wakes up at 1 p.m. All right, let's open this up. So we may have to play with the time here. Maybe start it at 11, maybe not midnight, but, you know, this is only day two of this, of this experiment. I think midnight's a good time, but, you know, I, I always appreciate input, always. And you guys do a pretty good job of letting me know, hey, Uncle Jesse, you're doing a good job, or hey, Uncle Jesse, you're a fucking scumbag. I hate you, and I'm going to report you. You know, I've, I've heard it all, I've heard it all. What are my thoughts on a 24 box Diamond Kings break? My thoughts are I'm down like a clown. Diamond Kings is actually pretty nice stuff. Uh, 24 boxes will probably take me a nice little minute. Do a whole master case of that. And yeah, you can always watch the breaks when you you know wake up or whatever. Uh, but you know people, believe it or not, do want to watch it live. So you know I can understand, especially if you're 
if your break is is uh you know towards the end of the the list schedule or whatnot you know like for example finest baseball is our last break in, in the list you know I, that break is probably going to happen at 2 30 maybe 3 in the morning because before that is a 10 box break of elite extra edition baseball and that break takes almost an hour uh, chronicles basketball 10 box full case break uh, I, I couldn't tell you how long that's going to take because I've never opened up a full case of that. Um, so that could probably take maybe 30 to 45 minutes. Who knows? You know, so these breaks could push into to the late night. Yeah, that, that was a funny little scenario, Emerald City. You know, what's think, and when you think about it, that's probably like a normal thing. You know what I mean? There's probably a lot of 12-year-olds out there that take their parents' eBay password and their credit card information and just bid and buy a bunch of stuff. It's not the first time it's happened, and it's likely not the last. What's up, Jose? I'm doing great considering it's the day after 420. My man does raise a, a very good point. Does raise a good point. I mean, the devil's lettuce got me a little sick, so that's, you know, I'm not. Well. <laughs> I'm not feeling the greatest right now, but that's another story. That's also true, Tim. You know, you can, you can always estimate the time. You know, the break might take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes on average. So if you're third on the list, you know, your break is probably going to happen at 1 in the morning because we start the breaks at midnight. If you're, you know, fifth, probably be at two in the morning, so on and so forth. Who got the kings in this break? Is asking Jr. Maybe a little uh, trade maneuver happening. Is there still basketball going on since uh, we're actually doing a basketball break? Yeah, I know the Heat lost. That was uh, that was no brainer. So Jr. asking who got the Kings? Louisville Card Auction got the Kings. The Jazz are actually up on the Thunder right now, 106 to 89. Oh man. Uh oh, got a little eBay beef brewing. You know that's one of the things about eBay is people can outbid you. You know where you don't have to worry about that? RipCityCards.com. Go to RipCityCards.com, folks. Buy a team and it's yours. All you gotta do is wait for all teams to be sold, and then that break will go. Not to mention, you can always save fifteen dollars on your first website purchase if you're new. Register for an account on our website, and that code will get emailed to you. Uh, do keep in mind that $15 off code can only be used on our website. Glaber Torres being called up by the Yankees. Ricky Rubio has been balling. The name of the game is to, you know, outbid the person if you really, really want it that bad. And if you have the money, of course, that's also a key factor. Red Sox have been killing it this year, but I think they lost today. My man, uh, 
Shamanea from the A's pitched a no hitter. Which is a, which if I'm not mistaken means the Red Sox scored a total of zero runs. But then again, I, I don't know that much about baseball. So I could be wrong. That's true. Rara does speak the truth. Just bid a thousand dollars on every team you want, and you will probably win. Man, how is one rookie outballing an entire team? Oh, the Jazz are also wearing those ugly-ass jerseys. Donovan Mitchell, the rookie. Nobody saw that guy balling the way he is right now. I guarantee that. Donovan is overrated. Oh, wow, JR. I don't know about that one. Donovan Mitchell is pretty special. Well, JR, I mean, Ben Simmons, there's really no comparison there, in my opinion, man. Uh, ben Simmons is a point guard who's seven feet. All right, let's start there. Where I, I think Donovan Mitchell's a shooting guard. Donovan Mitchell, a way better shooter than, than, than Ben Simmons. But Ben Simmons can do pretty much anything else he wants on the court. But I have to agree with you. you know, ben Simmons, if I had to pick either player in a draft, I would probably pick Ben Simmons first. That is, a, that is a very interesting t statistic, Ra Ra. Um, cards are worth 50% more after they have my germs on them. That is, that is a hashtag Ra Ra knows fact. Series tied 1 1. Jazz looking like they about to take it. Almost done opening packs, you guys. And I like to open up all the packs at once. Especially when it's, you know, a break like this. Just to get it over with, be done with it. You know, chat a little bit with you guys in the meantime, talk some shit. I bet the Thunder didn't expect to go down 2-1 against the Jazz. And the Thunder was supposed to be like a championship contending team, man. Donovan Mitchell. How many points does that kid have in this game? He just wet a nasty three. Less than two minutes to go. Jazz up 113 to 93. Up by what? Was that 20 points? Make that 18. Utah Jazz are killing me with those uniforms, though. The Blazers got swept. Who saw that one coming? I kind of did. 
you know, I just hope this this gives Damian Lillard like a bit of a push to get out of there, man. And I gotta tell you, I don't know what's going on out there in, in, in Trailblazer Land, but they 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 need to blow that team up. You know, CJ McCullough, man, and Damian Lillard on the same team. Maybe it might be time to move on from one of those. Yeah, they got some good young talent, though. Zach Collins is a good rookie. Caleb Swanigan, a good rookie. Damian Lillard does not play defense. This is true. So who knows? Maybe they get rid of Lillard. Maybe trade him. You know, I'll take him. I'll take Damian Lillard in a, in a heat uniform all day. We'll teach him how to play defense. Or at the very least, you know, mask the fact that he doesn't play defense. So who would the Pelicans who would the Pelicans play now? Well what was that seating like? What was that? The three and the six? Three and the six would win, would face the winner of the two and seven. What's the two and seven? The Rockets or the Timberwolves? Timberwolves won today, apparently. Oof, Jr. I might have to agree with you, man. Lillard, one of those good players that will never win anything unless he makes a move. I say Damian Lillard force a trade, get out of there. Take Damian Lillard to the Dolph to the Dolphins. To the Heat. I'll gladly take Damian Lillard. We'll turn him into a super superstar. Alright, here we go. Look, Kawhi LeBron coming to Miami next year, so the rest of the league won't even matter. Junior, I pray that actually happens because I'm a huge Heat fan. And we do have, you know, some talent down here. The Sixers, though, right now the better team. But if you add Kawhi and LeBron to the current Heat team, like, that is a championship team. Because Miami Heat basketball, we play tough. We grind games out. Unfortunately, right now, we don't really have that player to put us over the top. But anyway, Dwight Howard to 199 for the Hornets. See, a lot of a lot of a lot of people a lot of people think uh, LeBron going to the Sixers would be a good move. But dude, think about this. Ben Simmons, this guy right here, is basically LeBron James, seven feet tall, and about twenty years old. So why would you want a second LeBron? On your team. You know what I mean? If anything, that man needs shooters. Give that boy some shooters. Samuel Jale of the Celtics uh, on card autograph. Oh, dude, Junior, I think I, I think I like you a lot, man. Celtics autograph right there, the Ojaleye. Dude, Bam Adebayo is super slept on. Great, great player. I don't know what's going on with Whiteside. We might have to get rid of him, to be honest with you. Because Bam Adebayo could develop into a really good player. He's solid. Gives us really good minutes. Plays a, plays defense, active. Just got to work on that game. To 175, the Jazz, I like Burks. Yeah, Bam is hella athletic. And he's a dog, man. He's willing to, he's willing to get his hands dirty. You know, and he, 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 can, get, he can get a shot off. Kind of, sort of. You know, we we have we have a we have an interesting roster. Some years later, forty nine. But right now, man, the the, the the Sixers are clearly outplaying us. Joel Embiid is the difference right now. Ever since he's come back, Sixers are two and zero. Oh. The Heat facing facing elimination on Tuesday. James Johnson is a poor man's LeBron. I'm going to have to agree with that one. Glenn Rice of the Heat. Look at that uh, high top on there. That's to 99. What do we got here? Man, the Jazz beat in the Thunder. Jazz got a 2-1 series lead. 
So the Pelicans would play the Warriors. Oh, man. That could be an interesting series. Bobby Porter's of the Bulls to 189. Who's going to stop Anthony Davis on the on the Warrior side? Who's going to stop Kevin Durant on the Pelican side? Anthony Davis matching up with Kevin Durant on defense? That could be interesting. Imagine if that team had Boogie Cousins. Oh, man. Tony Bradley Jazz to 175. Redemption for Dylan Brooks, rated rookie signature. Uh, Dylan Brooks, I believe, is a Grizzly player. Got to look up the checklist to uh, make sure that goes to the right team. But I'm pretty sure Dylan Brooks goes to the Grizzlies. Zaza Pachulia going to stop Anthony Davis? Yeah, okay. Uh, yes, JR, we do all card ship in this break. Um, but for some breaks, we might not, you know, so... Please make sure to always read the description of the listings on eBay, guys. Uh, some breaks do differ from others. But in this break, everything ships. To 39, Kevin Love, Cavaliers. I think that's the Velocity insert. Steph Curry of the Warriors. That's the 175. What else we got? I hear strange noises. This office is low key haunted. Frank Nilakina, Nix. That's the 49. I guess that's asking too much, huh, Ra Ra? Shame on me. Shame on me. Gary Payton for the Sonics, number to forty nine. The Sonics go to the Thunder. Pit first complain later. What the hell? Got Chris Paul of the Rockets to 175. The Rockets might might come out of the West, man. I don't know. Rockets look good. I don't know about today though. Damn, Anthony Davis had 47 points. J. Rue Holiday had 41. Oh man. Marcus Morris for the Celtics, number to 79. Yeah, the Sixers, I think, are going to make it to the conference final, man. If they keep playing the way they have been, oh, my God. They might make it to the finals, real shit. Sterling Brown, Bucks. LeBron's not going to make it out of the second round. The Raptors are the Raptors. They they ain't never winning anything. Sterling Brown Bucks autograph right there. Playoffs are going to be interesting here. James Harden Rockets right now is it's no longer a foregone conclusion. Like, oh, it's going to be Warriors and Cavaliers again. No, this year it's pretty wide open, really. I do think Rockets are a fraud team, but we shall see. A lot of injuries on the West Coast to 49, Eric Gordon, Rockets. You know, if Stephen Curry was healthy and balling for the Warriors, different story. If Kawhi Leonard was playing for the Spurs, different story. If Boogie Cousins was, you know, healthy playing for the Pelicans, you know, different story. Like... It's, man, Rockets are looking like they're for real, but they're definitely going to have to prove it. You know, they lost today. You know, if, they were, if that was a, a true championship contending team, they would have took care of business. 
They could still take care of business and go back home up 3 1. They should, really. Because Chris Paul is no longer a young boy. That dude needs as much rest as he can get. Jawan Evans Clippers on card auto there. Got Doug McDermott of the Knicks to one ninety nine. Man, you know what's crazy? A lot of these dudes were probably, you know, born in like ninety eight, ninety nine. McGrady, definitely not born then. Number to 175 for the Raptors. Man, imagine if they kept McGrady with the Raptors. Vince Carter? What? Gosh. Kevin Durant, top five best player all time? Uh, right now? Definitely not. I wouldn't even put Kevin Durant in the top ten. Sundarius so Stonewall Clippers to 175. Kevin Durant's still a young player. Got a long way to go before he's considered... In all time great, in my opinion, anyway. Let's stack here. Got Jamal Murray of the Nuggets, uh, red, which is number 299. boxes left uh just as wins low i see i've seen some good things from you man the heat are, are a relatively young team you know we might have to move white side you know i'll i'll trade them straight up for for boogie cousins but that's probably not gonna happen kevin durant warriors to 99 but my man raised a very good scenario trade white side you know and maybe someone else Maybe Goran Dragic in a deal to bring Kawhi Leonard and LeBron back to Miami. That Heat team would instantly probably dominate the the East Coast. Russell Westbrook, Thunder, 299. And the Celtics might have something to say about it. That's another really good young team. Same with the Sixers. And that's what we're looking for. Nice. An on-card Jason Tatum. Autograph for the Celtics. That's a good card. That is a good card. Carmelo Anthony. Thunder Velocity. That's number to 79. Tatum is going to be great for sure. He's really good right now. Like, really good. And he's like 19, 20 years old. Damon Dotson, Knicks. to 175. Wait till he puts some, some muscle on that frame. And put in some more hours in the gym. Man. Yeah, the Celtics team is nasty. Jalen Brown also. He's a second year player. Youngest Celtics player to ever put up 30 points in the playoffs. All right, we have uh, Michael Kidd Gilchrist for the Hornets to 189. Ah, dude, holy man, Bosch, Bosch. I don't think Bosch is gonna play in the in the NBA uh, after those, you know, his health situation. Wade is probably gonna retire after this year. Uh, Dejounte Murray, those are really good player for the uh, for the Spurs. And out of bio, out of bio got potential. But he just got he got to put in that work. But he got man, that guy, that guy has some some real sick potential. 
All right, let's see what potential we can get in this last box here. Number to 39, Jawan Evans of the Clippers, the Velocity. All right, and last stack mojo. Got Jason Kidd of the Nets. That's number to 175. Damn, Dame Lillard had eight points in the first half. Wow. Rondo and them boys are shutting him down. Or shut him down, I should say. Because them boys are fishing right now. Andre Iguodala for the Warriors. That's to 199. And last hit is for the Nets, Jarrett Allen. Another solid rookie out of this class. Jarrett Allen is nice. Don't sleep on him. Real, real good player. All right, what else we got? Jeru Holiday out there balling for the Pelicans, man. Anthony Davis. Who's going to stop Anthony Davis right now? That guy's a beast. Man, playoffs. Love, love playoff basketball. Buddy Heald of the Kings. That's numbered to 175. I wish I knew the feeling, Jordan. I'm going to have to lay off that to uh, let this flu pass me by. And J.J. Barea at a 49 for the Mavericks. That is the break, y'all. So to recap it, you know how we do. Only recap the autos. We have Dylan Brooks with the Redemption. Rated rookie signature. Uh, I believe Dylan Brooks goes to the, the uh, Grizzlies. Of course, we will use the checklist to make sure it goes to the right team. There you go. Uh, you might be right. Might have to make a brownie or something. Anyway, Jared Allen Nets. Jason Tatum Celtics. Jawan Evans Clippers. Sterling Brown Bucks. And Samuel Jalea for the Celtics. Celtics had a really good break there. And that was the break. 2017-18 Optic Basketball. Half case number 8 eBay style. Thank you very, very much. We'll get that out to you.